Hey, my name is Malcolm Lawson, I'm a Maryland realtor, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what I think are the top 10 national parks here in Maryland that you must see. And remember, if you guys happen to be active duty, you can actually get into all national parks completely free, so make sure you take advantage of that while you can. So this list is in a no particular order, uh, it's just kind of my 10 favorite parks here in Maryland. So let's begin. So number one on the list would have to be the Harriet S. Tubman Underground Railroad National Park. This is Maryland's newest national park. It actually only just opened up a few months ago. Uh, it's located on the eastern shore of Maryland, so on the east side of the Chesapeake Bay. So the park consists of about 17 acres and is just full of a lot of history and a lot of storytelling about Harriet Tubman's uh, crusade to help freed slaves during the Civil War. Really interesting place, and if you guys are looking for a nice little day trip, a uh, nice little mini adventure, I definitely recommend you go travel to the eastern shore of Maryland and go check out uh, Maryland's newest national park, Harriet Tubman's Underground Railroad National Park. So number two on the list would have to be Katahkin Mountain. So this national park is great for anybody who's really into the outdoors and hiking. Uh, it's located up in Frederick County, which is kind of northern Maryland, and it's just beautiful up there. Uh, they've got over 25 miles of hiking trails. They've got fishing, they've got horseback riding, they've got uh, rock climbing. So if you're really into outdoors, you're looking for some great hiking trails or some great scenery, definitely check out Katahkin Mountain in Frederick County. So number three on the list would have to be Assateague Island. So Assateague Island is located on the eastern shore and it's just south of Ocean City. And it's right along the Atlantic Ocean. And it's, it's definitely one of the most beautiful national parks that we have here in Maryland. So what makes Assateague Island so unique is the wild horses that roam free there. Uh, and there's literally just wild horses that roam free on the beaches of the island. It's, it's really interesting to say. But there's also a lot of other stuff you can do there. You can go boating, kayaking, fishing uh, right on the beach in the Atlantic Ocean. There's walking trails, there's biking trails, there's horseback riding. There's a lot of great uh, stuff to do there, as well as a lot of just beautiful, beautiful scenery. So if you guys haven't checked out Assateague Island, I definitely uh, recommend you go plan a weekend and spend you know a full day or two out there just exploring the, this national park. It's definitely one of the most beautiful national parks and unique ones that we have here in Maryland. So number four on the list is Fort Washington National Park. Uh, it's probably the one that I personally visit the most because it's fairly close to me. It's pretty interesting. It's got some nice hiking trails as well. So Fort Washington is very interesting because it was originally built uh, during the Civil War time frame to protect Washington, D.C. from any boats coming up uh, the Potomac. So it, it looks like a Civil War fort, right? It, it almost looks like a castle. But then it was then retrofitted with modern guns uh, during World War I, and then again retrofitted uh, with even bigger guns and cannons during World War II. So it looks like a, like a medieval castle almost, right? It's a big stone Civil War fort, but it's got these giant um, anti-ship cannons built into the fort. It's very interesting. Uh, I definitely recommend that you go check out the fort itself. Uh, they also do um, Civil War style cannon reenactments and other things at the actual fort. But in the general area, there's a lot of trails that go throughout the woods there, and they go to smaller, like, little uh, encampments. And you can still find ruins of these World War I, World War II, and Civil War uh, little encampments um, at this Fort Washington National Park. It's very interesting. You can walk freely throughout these ruins. So the park also offers uh, great fishing right there in the Potomac. It's a lot of biking trails and a lot of hiking trails as well. It's very interesting. And if you guys are ever in that area uh, and you're looking to just absorb some history, definitely recommend you go check out Fort Washington National Park. So number five on the list is a little different from the other ones, and that is Glen Echo National Park. So Glen Echo was actually originally established in the late 1800s and is established as kind of a cultural and art center, right? Uh, later on, it actually became a kind of an amusement park. And then in the 1960s, it was turned into a national park. Um, but it still keeps a lot of the, the same original concept, right? It's still a center for um, culture and art. So still today, they teach uh, classes on things like glass blowing there, puppetry, um, uh, different arts and crafts. One of the biggest attractions there is the Denzel Carousel. So this was built in 1921 uh, when this park was an amusement park. And it's been fully restored and it's fully operational. You still go ride it today. It's very beautiful. Um, and it's pretty interesting and a nice place for a little day trip. So again, that's Glen Echo National Park. 
So number six on the list is Greenbelt Park. So Greenbelt Park is about 12 miles away from Washington, D.C., and it's one of the closest campsites to Washington, D.C. I think they have about 170 different campsites at Greenbelt National Park. They also have nine miles of hiking trail and two playgrounds and a lot of uh, like picnic and recreational areas as well. So this is just kind of a nice little casual um, national park. So if you're just looking for a little day trip just to get out of the city, get out of your uh, community or whatever, and just go do some nice light hiking, Greenbelt National Park is definitely one that you want to explore. So number seven on the list is Piscataway National Park. So again, this one's located just south of Washington, D.C. It's along the Potomac River. It's a fairly large park. Probably the biggest uh, draw to Piscataway National Park is the Colonial Farms that's located there. So what this is, is a recreation of a 1776 farmhouse. So they have the farmhouse, the kitchen, the barns, they have all the, the wildlife there. So they have sheep and chickens and a lot of other wildlife there. And it's just really interesting. You kind of step into a time machine and you go explore these uh, very historic homes and historic farm lifestyle from the uh, late 1700s. Piscataway is also great for fishing. They have a, a few piers that go right on out into the Potomac and it's a popular destination for a lot of local fishermen. So if you're looking for a local place to go hiking, definitely check out Piscataway. Like I said, it has a lot of hiking trails throughout the woods there. And the National Colonial Farms, that really interesting place. I definitely recommend that you go check that out at least once. Uh, take the kids, you know, let them see what it what life was like back in the late 1700s. So number eight on the list is what I think it might be the most beautiful national park you can visit while here in Maryland, and that is Harper's Ferry National Park. So Harper's Ferry, uh, it actually sits right at the intersection of the Potomac and the Shenandoah River. And that national park is actually split between Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia. Um, and it, it's beautiful just because it's, it's in the mountains and you have these two gorgeous rivers running right through this uh, national park. So obviously there's a lot of hiking uh, trails throughout this national park that go uh, up these mountains, you get some great views of the area. There's also a lot of river activity there in Harper's Ferry. Uh, there's a lot of um, kayaking and whitewater rafting. My wife and I used to love, like going up there and we'd sit on these inner tubes and just float down the Potomac and we end up in Harper's Ferry. A uh, great place, You definitely, I definitely recommend you checking it out. It's absolutely beautiful out there. And the town itself um, has a lot of history, a lot of history dating back to the Civil War. They still do a lot of reenactments and everything there as well. But I can't recommend Harper's Ferry enough. It is absolutely beautiful out there. Um, and if you guys are, like I said, if you're into water activities like whitewater rafting or tubing or kayaking or just fishing, anything like that, uh, you definitely wanna go check out Harper's Ferry. It is just beautiful out there. So number nine on the list is the Hampton House. So the Hampton House is located just north of Baltimore and it is a fully restored mansion from the early 1800s. Uh, I think the, the park consists of about 62 acres, and it's also not just the mansion, but all the grounds and the gardens and all the barns and everything that's around the mansion as well. It's very interesting, um, and as they say on the website, it's more about the lives of the people living in this uh, mansion than it was about the actual landscape around it. Every year around Christmas time, they fully decorate the house with uh, decorations that were appropriate for that time period. And it's pretty interesting to see. The house is just full of antiques. You know, it's all laid out exactly how it would be, you know, 200 plus years ago. So make sure you plan a day trip up to the Hampton House at least once. And I, I really recommend you go check it out around Christmas time. It's really beautiful. So number 10 on my list of the top 10 national parks you must see in Maryland is the Appalachian Trail. So the Appalachian Trail is actually much larger than just the Maryland portion. It actually runs from Maine all the way down to Georgia and it follows the Appalachian Mountains. And the trail itself was built uh, over 80 years ago. But it does run right through Maryland. So if you are an avid hiker, you know, that's definitely a fun challenge to try to hike, you know, just the Maryland portion of the Appalachian Trail. It is absolutely beautiful out there. The Appalachian Mountains are gorgeous. But the Appalachian Trail is a must-see for any avid uh, hiker here in Maryland. All right, so that concludes my list of the top 10 national parks here in Maryland. So what I want you guys to do now is just below this video, I want you guys to comment with how many of these 10 national parks have you personally been to so far. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't been to all of them yet. I haven't seen the Harriet Tubman National Park. That's a brand new one for me. I'm really looking forward to checking that out. 
but just right below here, you know, which ones you've been to and really which one's your favorite out of all the ones that I've listed. All right, well, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you guys go out and explore some of the beautiful national parks that Maryland has to offer.